Well, hello, welcome back. Uh, Pastor Craig here with day four of our focused prayer on making disciples, being a disciple, sharing the gospel. It's kind of all wrapped into one, but really the heart is, I really desire uh, that you become a disciple maker who makes disciples. Uh, this is important to the process of not only growing in your own personal faith, but then passing that on to others. In fact, our reading today comes out of Romans. So I wanna just remind you, go get this, uh, this write-up that we have this guide, so to speak, um, at our website, you can get that. But I wanna highlight the app. If you haven't used the Family Church app, um, that's really what we're trying to use as a platform. So take, go download that. You can go to the website to find out how to get that or at the Play Store or wherever you get your apps. Um, I don't know what you Mac users use, but that's where I go is that Play Store. And uh, I put in Family Church DC for Douglas County and you can find the app there. So uh, go check into that, get the app. You should be able to get notifications if you signed up for this or if you sign up for it, you could do that now. Um, but we're gonna read from Rome today, chapter 10, and this is kind of that sort of, many of you who are familiar with scripture at all, there's this picture of beautiful feet. Uh, beautiful feet, not my feet, even though for those of you who know me, I am a sandal wearer uh, 24-7. I would do wear sandals, and my feet aren't necessarily beautiful, but I think that the picture isn't about the actual physical beauty of feet, but about the beautiful story and news that comes by feet that bring good news, right? The feet that will carry the gospel to the next person. In fact, um, I would say that there's probably a 99% chance that if you're a follower of Jesus today, somebody brought that news to you, their beautiful feet presented you with the gospel. So the challenge for this time is to begin to evaluate again what's going on in your life. Who are you interacting with? Um, and I'm going to press you hard as we get further into this. Day four, I've been a little gentle on you. We'll get, we'll get harder, um, sort of. But what I was going to say is that our focus this time is how to effectively share the gospel. And so there's a link in the, the website uh, descriptions today um, that says to go to this gospelfluency.com. That might be a place to help you expand your understanding of what the gospel is and really how to share that effectively and how to live it effectively. So um, go check that out. But also um, the prayer focus is again, going to God and asking God to help you have confidence to share the gospel effectively. One of the things I think that is a challenge is when we think of sharing the gospel, I think we often think of like a street corner evangelist out there uh, shouting at the street corners. I'm not so convinced that that's been the most effective approach. In fact, what I'm finding and have found is um, sharing the gospel really is a way of life. It comes in every aspect of my life, wherever I am, wherever I'm working, um, how I'm living and what I'm doing to build relationship with others uh, is a part of the process of gospel sharing. And eventually we should get to places where we have people in our life who have never heard the gospel and we can begin to engage in a conversation of who Jesus is and what it means to follow Jesus and really why we can't do anything uh, for ourselves, that Jesus is the only way, the only truth, and the only life that matters, and that we have to have confidence uh, to be able to share that. So uh, this may be, for some of you, a journey in just becoming more confident. So today's prayer focus is asking God for confidence. Uh, I would encourage that as you pray, I've only given you one prompt today, but I'm gonna encourage that you ask and that you listen. And for some of you, you might uh, have a pen ready and just write down what God perhaps presents in this time. Just take some quiet time. Ask God for confidence. God, give us confidence. So that's your prayer focus today. Thanks for joining us for day four.